Hello, Michael here. I just want to show you this device that I made um, starting a few days ago that I just finished. Okay, I know it's not presentable, but I just want to show you how it works. Okay, let's start. First of all, I want to show you this DC motor. I don't know the rating because I just got it from scrap. And I use it as a generator of electricity for the this device but you're gonna see it later and two bulbs here that I got salvaged from this and you can see this is a security lighting like that one a 12 volt fan DC fan I got from old computer this is a transformer that I got also from that one rated 220 volts with an output of 10 volts there you can see in the yellow one and connected to a bridge rectifier that I personally made with four diodes there you can see it okay and I want to show you my favorite. This is the heart of this project. This is an electromagnet. Well, I was inspired by the contest that I joined uh, quite a few months ago. Uh, I just want to show that even though this electromagnet with an iron core is very much insulated, insulated with quite <laughs> too many tapes electrical tape I want to show you that this will work okay well, I'm just gonna put it there and also the switches okay now I'm gonna show you how it works first I'm gonna show you the power from the transformer mm, place it there okay so you can see nothing happens yet but when I switch this on this is the main switch for the transformer switch it on and this is a switch for the motor if I switch it on there you can see the uh, motor moving there it's not very fast but it's moving if I close this it stops there and this one here is a switch for the bulbs if I open it ta -da! close it open it ta -da! close it and one here this switch is for this one take a look um, it's not quite very visible let's go around here I'm just gonna hold this there and when I open the switch you can see it moving and I close the switch and it's slowing down and down and if I open it again there you can see it okay and again my favorite is this one an electromagnet first of all I just want to show you that it is not a permanent magnet um, let's get some metal here this is a nail a metal nail okay if I place it here there is no attraction yet you right there no attraction okay but if I open the switch here there it will have it will attract the nail and it's quite very attractive well there take a look at that and if I close the switch it won't it won't attract it anymore 
I'm gonna place it this near. Let's try. If I open the switch, let's try. Will it move? It's not moving because it's too far away. But if I put it here, there, see it. There. Uh huh. It works even when very insulated. Yes, because what the proctor told us that when it's very insulated, it won't work. But I did it and it's working. Okay, as promised, I'm gonna show you how this one here, a DC motor, can power all those ones. Okay, let's gonna switch this off, switch it off, and for safety reasons, you unplug this. You might want to unplug it so that this won't work. Okay, <clears throat> all right, it's unplugged as you can see, and for it to move, for it to move, I'm gonna use this Ozito drill I have here. Well, wait gonna hold it it's quite something heavy <laughs> okay open it and then tighten it up a little but before I open it I wanna open the switch and this when it's reversed this now is the switch for the motor here to power them okay so now I'm going to open the light this is for the light bulb right oh no uh, let's see there and if I close it and I spin it no light because it's switched off but if I open it and I roll it there's the light oh okay it's not that tight after all. Mm -hmm. ah. And if I close it and open this one, it will activate this. Okay, you can see that. And it will stop if I fire it again. Ah! It's not that tight. Okay, now that you've seen this one, and my favorite one is here, this is the switch, again, for this, my favorite! Let's place it here. Oh god, how am I gonna hold this? Okay, let's see. If it's placed there, and the piece of... There, okay. It's not too far, not too close. Just want to show you how it moves. Okay, let's try. Let's try that far. If I open this, if I fire it, ah, you can see it move. And take it away again. That was quite very far. If I fire it again, ah, it's not tight again. Okay. Okay. Not too far, not too close, just right. You can see. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, it's not because of the vibration, it's because of the magnets, okay? <laughs> Don't be very, very cruel. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm holding it with my hand here so that you can see it. There it is. I'm holding it there, and it's not that attracting very much. But if I open it and start with it, there you can see. And oh, that one's good. Place it again. Still no attraction. If I open it, close it. Ah. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Now you've seen it work. And...
and voila this is the device I made a few days ago that I just finished and I'm gonna use this for a report on my physics class I hope you like it guys again this is Michael Bradas here and this is my device.